women are half of the world's population. So in the UN, in its work around the world, think what a huge omission it would be if we were not champions of women's rights being part of equality and what the UN stands for. That's really going to be about power relations. That's going to change the way people think and do business in the UN, whether it's for management or it's programs or it's how we relate to what happens on the ground. Equality is at the core of human values and equal rights between men and women is also a principle enshrined not only in the Charter but in the human rights treaties. We're all going through a really difficult challenge right now as we see the external Me Too campaign and the steps SG has taken to look at the package of gender parity but also sexual harassment and the sexual exploitation and abuse. And this is a real challenge for us as women where we know that the majority of victims are women. And I think it's also about creating an environment that is friendly and enabling for women to come forward and also for men to realize that there is a cultural change. I think the gender strategy is key and it has to be accompanied by that leadership commitment. And one of the very positive gains we'll have also is a difference in leadership styles because women do lead differently. What's important now is to start thinking also, how do we move beyond parity? How do we move to equality? Because that's really the change in the culture and what has to support that and drive that are the policies and the frameworks that we put in place.